Dog River Hollers are a rugby club uh, that anybody is welcome to join, people from around the world. The idea is to use rugby as a vehicle to build bridges with people around the world and while doing that have fun. I think this is exemplified last year when 97 of us went to Cuba to have an ex just one of the most most amazing experiences anybody could ever have. For rugby, and, and, and you took it uh, seriously because the, the games were, I mean, were excellent. Well, we had uh, the very good uh, rugby uh, days. But also, uh, you involve other things that are important for us as culture. Uh, you take the time to uh, know our island, our, to know Cuba, to get involved with, with people. You, you visit our school, orphanage, and, and, and that's, I mean, that uh, makes uh, this uh, uh, tour, this Canadian tour, unique. I mean, uh, apart from being the first uh, rugby Canadian uh, team coming to, to Cuba, playing rugby, apart from that, I mean, it's, uh, that was uh, make this tour unique. Okay, play hard, play fair, good luck. We saw world-renowned jazz artist Jesus Ferrantes play with our local uh, great uh, Juno Award-winning Jack Semple in, ja uh, in, a, in a jazz concert. Uh, we went around and saw the countryside, the villages, uh, national monuments like El Shea's uh, grave, which is, is a monument, all these things. And while doing so, we made some lasting friendships like I did with my, my compadre, Chuk and Chow, which have, will last, I think, for a lifetime. Hours on three. One, two, three. Hours! And there's something else very exciting in, in the wind, and that is Shawnigan Lake School, uh, a school on the west coast of Canada, Vancouver Island, in an endeavor, a joint endeavor with the Dog River Howlers and with the Cuban rugby community, are looking to build 
a clubhouse and a field of dreams, we call it, for the little kids in Havana. That's why I say, and as our motto is, it's more than a game, it's a way of life.